If you could only sense how important you are to the lives of those you meet, how important you can be to the people you may never even dream of, there is something of yourself that you leave at every meeting with another person. Fred Rogers. And welcome to another episode of This Is Us Now podcast. My name is Jeffrey. I'm your uh, main host, and I'm here with my co-host. Zena C. You can find me online at Semiotics, S-E-M-I, the number zero, T-I-K-Z. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, me too. So the quote that you just heard was based on... It was from Fred Rogers. You remember Mr. Rogers? Yeah. From Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? Who doesn't love Fred Rogers? He advocates for... I call him the train man. The train man. I, I can appreciate that. He but it was for uh, the, based the on um, depression. Depression, yes. So today we are going to talk about depression. That is the title of the episode today because we feel that I that we need to put a spotlight on something that's going on now and have a conversation about it i feel that we shouldn't be afraid to talk about it we shouldn't be it shouldn't be taboo um you know a lot of people go through depression differently people handle it differently yes um you know it's just you need to figure out how to work through it you know Mm -hmm. but sometimes you might need that shoulder to talk you know to cry you might need that person to talk to um and you know just want to make sure that here on this is now that's the kind of environment that i'm trying to create i can dig it you definitely want a loving environment and i think that that's at the the root of of why so much depression is like looming over so many people that there's just it appears to be a lack of love you know what i mean and some people don't even know how to define love some people have never experienced love and depression could be the poison to the destruction Ooh. of your goals yes. even self-love yes yes absolutely self-love is essential and i'll be honest with all my audience and my followers on youtube or any other social media platform i go through the depression mm-hmm. and it is hard it's a hard thing to go through um even stress it's an ingredient to depression Absolutely. and that people right now in America are going through a lot of stress. Mm-hmm. And that's why I always tell people, you know, take that minute, put everything on hold for a second. Yes. Everything is still going to be there, Pause. you know, uh, but you, if you continue the way you're going and you're stressing, you might not be there. That's true. That next minute. That's true. Remember, we need to take care of ourselves so we can continue taking care of the rest of the stuff around us. Because if we don't take care of ourselves, we are gone. But our bills are still there. Our debt is still going to be there. That's true. You know? Um, everybody goes through a lot. And everybody has different stories. And that is one of the reasons I started this podcast. Because I want to invite people to come and share your stories. Um, you know... There is different levels of depression. Yeah. Uh, different situations. And, you know, they could end up into doing suicide attempts, mm. even to the point where people are successful in doing suicide. Um, and, and I, again, my heart goes for all those family members that have lost anyone due to depression or mental yeah uh situations um it is a hard thing to go through it's a it's a hard conversation to have across the across the board Um, and it's not only in america just because you know we are a free country no it's everywhere it is everywhere every corner of the world that's that's a big world yeah (laughs) but on the flip it's a big world. I think a lot of the times when it comes to depression and never to downplay how anyone feels because just like you, you go through your bouts. I went through my bouts in high school. Mm-hmm. Like I, I vividly remember sitting in one of those classes. I, who, who remembers high school like that? But in one of those classes and I had a sheet of paper and I was literally writing like, I'm depressed, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. I don't know why I was doing it, but I was just writing it on the paper. It felt better to like put it on paper and, and like destroy the paper. Paper. You know, it's almost like I felt like I was casting it off. Not sure if that is the best way to go about Burn it. it. No. Burn it to the ground. But um, it felt it felt good. But there was also someone who was like staring over my shoulder and they were like, and they saw it. And they were like, are you okay? And after I wrote it out, I was actually fine. Like I felt better. 
but I had also sparked something that in someone else, and they, they so they started like watching me, and it felt kind of weird because it's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to have this tear of of backlash, but that experience caused me to really reflect on what I was really doing. Mm -hmm. Why was I doing it? Why was it a releasing agent for me? So I, I, I totally get it. But yeah, we, we kind of got to, we got to, it's got to be a conversation. Mm -hmm. And two things that I would want to point out and key, key things, okay? Things that everybody in society needs to remember. Depression has no age limit. No. You could have depression when you're 10. You could have depression when you're 70. Mm -hmm. There's no age limit. Mm -hmm. And two, do not shame someone yeah. for saying they have depression or trying to get help. And don't there are a me. lot of family members that think you're crazy if you get help from well, a therapist. Well, that's the stigma. That's the stigma. And that's what we need to break. That's the because stigma. Because I feel like if more people would talk about their feelings or get help through mm -hmm. a therapeutic way, mm -hmm. I think there will be less shootings in school, less shootings in malls, less... Not saying that we're going to cure the world but from evil, because yeah. evil is all around us, it exists. Uh, depending on what you believe. Um, and that's depression. Depression is a virus. Yeah. And yeah. when it gets in us, we need to work to get that out. Like, we drink medicine when we have the flu. So we need to let our feelings be heard and, and it's, uh, express our emotions. Absolutely. That's our medicine for a cure to depression. Absolutely. I think, I, I know this is this might be like a long shot, but I feel as though once they started seriously removing the arts from the school, because the arts taught you how to it express yourself. It was a yourself, way to express yourself, You know, yes. whether it be through music, whether it be through actual art class, whether it be through dance class. Do you know how many people have, have written songs Look. just to say a message they couldn't say it in real words? I mean... But they still would feel satisfied with that? Right. Like they would right. feel relief. Sometimes I would be, I would be one of those people. I would write a song about how I you feel. You should write a song. You, you should know. totally write a song. Maybe I should become a, a singer. Do you need a guitar? I feel like you would be. Give me an intro. Be no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think that that would be amazing. Yeah. Sometimes we don't have the words to match our expressions. And I've only learned that because I have a son and he doesn't have the vocabulary that the rest of us have. So I'm sitting here watching him, you know, try to 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 come up with words that match his feelings. And, and you see something I learned in school back in in like the 1600s or I don't know, like in the past. Mm -hmm. That's why the arts were created mm -hmm. to express. Mm -hmm. an emotion mm -hmm. um, that's why they did plays mm -hmm. so they could you know a lot of people will go to these plays or so operas and they get really sad because they get into their touch yeah. into their emotions and feelings because that's what that's the vibe that that's giving the signals right, right. and so like she said when schools started to cut out art out of schools that whole signal of releasing mm -hmm. stopped now everybody's holding everything in and now if you want to talk to a counselor or you tell your family you need help, they will make you feel like you're crazy. Then then you feel like you're crazy. Now, I will say this, though. I, I agree with you. And I will say I will say this. Um, in, in December of 2020, I actually hosted a, um, a digital summit and that focus was protecting your peace. Mm -hmm. You know, so many times we give our, we, we are giving our power away. A lot of times we don't even recognize that we're giving our, our power to other people, um, willingly, let alone unwillingly. So one of my, my guests during that summit was a, a psychotherapist who I've known for years, but I didn't realize she was a psychotherapist. And she actually, during the summit, she was trying to get us to shift our mindset from mental illness and mental health to mental wellness. Like change that whole conversation because when you start to see your, your state of mind as being a betterment of yourself or being a piece of yourself, you start to want to protect it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like having an idea. You want to you wanna nurture that idea. So when it comes to your mental wellness, it's like, okay, so what can I do to make myself feel great today instead of, you know, everything's dark, everything's heavy, everything, I, I don't know which direction to go. That's cool. I don't know if I'm saying this saying right, uh -huh. but to say take the, the, grab the bull from their horns, <laughs> the same thing with life. Confrontation. Um, Confront it. 
yeah, you need to fight it. You need to uh, come an agreement mm-hmm. that that's how you feel mm-hmm. and your feelings and are okay. valuable. They are your valid. And they're valid. Are valuable. Yeah. You're allowed to feel the way you feel. And don't allow anybody to, to take that from you. However. And, and people will try. They will. Because I've been through it and people will tell me, stop crying. Stop talking about it. Stop thinking about it. And sometimes people, they need to navigate their emotions, release mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. It's like you told me a few, uh, uh, I think yesterday. Uh, it's like one of those pots. If you have the lid on it and you put pressure on it and you hold all that in, what's going to happen? That's true. It's going to explode. Think of your, well, I was about to say that. I don't know if I can say the <laughs> brand. You know, you might have to pay us for the brand. But a pressure cooker, like imagine, that's what I was saying. A pressure cooker, when you're cooking your rice, if you don't release the the, the pressure and you go to take that lid off, you're going to get popped in the face and burnt. And you know what's worse? That's and, terrible. You, and you know what's the worst thing that could pop? Your heart. Mm. That's the worst Did you thing. go there? Yeah. Did you go there? I can appreciate yeah. that, though. Because stress kills. It, it, Depression it does kills. have that. It, depression okay. is a killer. You know what they call a silent killer? Mm. That's depression mm. and stress. That is a silent killer. It that, will kill you without even without you even knowing. The, the flip side of that is that you have the ability to confront it. You have the ability to to grab it by the horns and to really take control and ownership over your experiences because your experiences are valid. Your your life is valid. But you- that's why I, I say, you know, it's a silent killer because if people don't express themselves mm-hmm. because they're afraid how society will look at them for expressing themselves, then holding that in is not good. It's not. So that's why I hear at This Is Us Now, we recommend you to express yourself, even if Definitely. it's with your friend, getting a journal, a diary, on your phone notes, mm-hmm. even singing to yourself, mm-hmm. singing out loud, screaming, punching a pillow. Yes. That's what I just did with a painting. friend. <laughs> painting. Hey, painting. painting. Uh, you know. Cooking. Uh, yeah. Some people release it. Even it, it working out. Working out. Something that I need to do. No, right, let's kidding. go. Let's start walking. <laughs> I just put that on the docket. We're going to start walking. But there's so many positive ways to handle depression. There are. There are. And so much beauty can come out of it. One thing that I always think about, and then we're definitely going to have to hop into those chips because I'm eyeing those chips. But one thing that, that I, I want us to all take about, look at the earth. The earth is literally muck. But look what has grown out of the earth. You have trees. You have us. You have animals. Like, there's just so many facets and so much Hope. beauty. Hope. So, I, I don't want us to get Hope so for stuck. A better, that's something that we all need to be grateful is waking up. Yes. Yes. And having the ability to dream. Another chance. Another, yeah. Because a new day is a restart. Another opportunity. What happened yesterday happened yesterday. What could be, it's what you need to be But what you going to do about it today is yeah. the real thing. <laughs> That's why we call this, this is us now. Not this is us tomorrow, not this is yesterday. Rethink the impossible. That part. <laughs> so, in every episode, we've been talking about some exotic boulevard snacks. Hey. Uh, again, thank you, exotic boulevard. We appreciate you. Um, today, we're going to try lace ketchup chips. Ketchup. And this is made in Canada. It says okay. it right here. This time I can I read. Wondering. I was about to say, this I was time wondering. I can read. I know what that label says. I bet this is going <laughs> to just be like french fries and ketchup. Ooh. Okay. I was thinking no. baked potato. I was like, who puts ketchup on a baked potato? But I can see french fries. Oh, though. yes. It is definitely so french fries. They're not red, ketchup. are they? Yes. Oh, interesting. Yes. So, so I'm going like, to take the first chip and I'm going to let Zena do her crunchy noise. Oh, do y'all like that? Do you like it? I'm taking more than one chip because I'm, I'm convinced I'm going to enjoy it. All right. These look fried. So so the the Canadian and American, the North American ones mm-hmm. are fried. Oh my god. It literally they tastes like, like French fries. I, I t- yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say I totally taste ketchup. Like it's it's smothered in ketchup. This this isn't just like a dab on your potato. It it's kinda smothered. like it's kinda like, do you really need that much ketchup on your plate? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> I put ketchup on everything. I'm sorry. That's weird. One more time for y'all. This is actually not bad. You can have those, though. Oh, I thought you said one more time. Nope. You need a bigger chip to make that noise. I, I have a whole... 
Yeah, that, you want me to stick that, all that, of them? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I swear, she's known for that now. So when I have another guest, I'm going to have to tell them, hey, can you do the crunchy noise? Hey, okay, you're going to have to do the, the ASMR for us, please. I'm going to eat the bat. I haven't had lunch. Don't judge me. Nobody, no judgment here. This is a no judgment zone. It's truly a but no judgment But it is a lot of ketchup. It is. It's heavy. Yeah, they pour the whole bottle in here, maybe. <laughs> They should have done like french fries and ketchup. You know, when we go to fast food, mm -hmm. we have a problem with not having enough ketchup. Well, Just, get yourself some late look. ketchup and you will never have that problem. There you go. Because that is not missing a drop of ketchup. They're actually not bad though, guys. It's actually a pretty. I just I it's don't know intense, why though. is it purple. Why are the chips purple? I mean, tomatoes, they oxidize. Why do you have, have always have me on here like sounding like the, the utmost Bill and I, the science guy nerd? You really do, but they oxidize. Tomatoes oxidize. I don't have my up. PhD. Oh my gosh, nor do I. <laughs> Apparently, you know what I mean? Um, but yes, so the chips are amazing. And we're talking about depression, but more so mental wellness. I just want to, I want us to shift a little bit. Y'all, there's so much that you can do. And I am not a licensed, ther licensed therapist. Definitely find somebody that you can talk to that is licensed and that you can hold accountable. You know what you sound like right now? What do I sound like? We can't give you legal advice. I'm not a lawyer. I mean, sometimes you have to go that far, though. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer, right? So, right. Sometimes it's that serious. But I do know some things that have helped me. Um, and I want to I want to be able to share those with, with folks as you are, are fighting your your battles and what some may call demons or what some may call darkness or whatever, like really recognize that. I'm going to choose my words wisely. I don't want to, to, to go deep into a rabbit hole, but I really want you to recognize that the possibility of greater is always present. Does that make sense? So just because I mean, these chips are taking me somewhere great. I am so tickled right now. I like I know one thing that my dad always uh, used to say to me when I was in college and things would just get dark and tight and I'd get overwhelmed and I would just feel as though the whole school was like sitting on my shoulders. Oh, woe is me. I know it sounds that way, but it was real. That's I, I'm warranted to how I felt. My father would be like, I'd be like, Daddy, it's just so dark. I'm, it's so heavy. And his response would be like, strike a match, Zena. And not a literal match, but be the light that I needed to see. Like, strike a match. If I'm in a dark tunnel, strike a match and keep moving. And that has always just stared, stayed with me. Not literally. Not literally. Please don't go and burn anything. I don't down. want to start getting calls from fire departments. You told no, people to let them know. And I, I put the caveat beforehand and after. I'm not being literal. But he he was literally telling me to, to recognize that I needed to be my own light. I needed to generate my own light. And it was always helpful. That being said, I would highly suggest... Uh, going for walks breathing we don't breathe enough we don't breathe deeply enough we kind of just do shallow breathing I'm such a mess to eat it guys i mean life happens they were they were kind of good though yeah but it started to i, I started to feel that vinegar feeling ah uh, yes 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 it was heavy on the ketchup with oh, the shoot, shoot. <laughs> yeah, heavy on the ketchup. it definitely was but yes focus on your breathing try and get active what else? What else? What else? Stretch, um, meditate, paint, get a coloring book. Like now they have coloring People books. People have digital coloring books now. Did no, you know that? No, you need. You no, but did you know books. that though? But did you know that? Just say, did you I, know that? I mean, I'm aware of it. I just. I know I'm, people that do it. I'm just like, really? I'm a nostalgic person. So I like. I the like crayon yeah. and You know what? When I hand. used to color, I used to get mad when I used to get out the black lines. See, see, but now do you care? I used to get mad that other people's looked see, better. Back they then, back when I was in art class, I wanted to be a perfectionist. You're still kind of a perfectionist. Should have seen the mug that I made. <laughs> it was half incomplete. Uh, still, though. Did I got you say a, the mud? A mug. Oh, a mug. Like a in mug. pottery class? We made a mug. I was about to say, how do you mess up mud? But you said a mug. Yeah. So, so is I made a mug. A I wish I had it, guys. Is I it wish. Just a tumbler. It was a mug like this, uh -huh. but it was still undone in the bottom because the machine didn't heat the so bottom. So you had the 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 circumference and you had the handle, but it, there and was I no still bottom. Had the clay. There was no bottom on the bottom. No, of it wasn't the bottom. It was just clay. Oh, it was just sitting Hard on top clay. of it. Yeah. 
Damn it, you made it work. I did never use it for drinking. I use well, it for a pencil see, holder. See, and that's fine. That's fine. Sometimes you have hey, to. Hey, you see, and, and that's a great example yeah. right there. Things might not be perfect, mm -hmm. but it's what you make the best out of it. That's true. Just like my mug. That's true. Yes, you should find your mug. That mug really might make you chuckle. Like every time you see, like <laughs> I tried, <laughs> it still works. I might post it on Instagram. Look, that's real content. Hashtag. Mug. This is us now. <laughs> and I mean, um, <sighs> you just have to make the best out of any situation. You do, and you have to realize that. You know what? I'm just real. I'm like so far from the microphone. Can you hear me, guys? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're like so close. Like, doesn't she have a voice of a radio hostess? Oh my goodness! Whatever. Welcome to Z with Zena. Well, you can find me at. Thing. You can find me at what? You can find me on all social semiotics. That's S E M I. The number zero. T I K Z. Yes. Why are you? Why? That is such a greatness. You know what I mean? Greatness is my my jam, y'all. If if anything, your greatness is my business. That that I am the greatness <laughs> router for know. a reason. I am the greatness router for a reason, homie. Yes, I, I see the greatness in everyone, even in you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. I just want you to see it in yourself. And it's good to have you here as a co-host. Well, I appreciate you. And this is just our third episode. It's just the third episode. And people already love you. Well, people love you. I mean, people love Look us. Look at that. And I know that the timer has, has ticked, but... For this third episode, I am extending the time because some people did wanted us to extend it a little bit. Oh my goodness, twenty minutes wasn't long enough for y'all. I know, so y'all love us it that maybe much. Like five more minutes, give well, you a little more of us. We appreciate y'all. Um, you know, um, I'm happy that we can get to talk about this, and hopefully, we can bring we can retouch the subject when we bring a guest, um, and and you know, get another opinion. Absolutely. Uh, but hopefully this has helped uh, you in some way or form. Absolutely. Um, if it has not and you need help, uh, I would recommend, you know, to, you know, try to seek for help. Yeah. Um, you know, there has to be resources within the community. Uh, you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. There's so many people dealing with stuff. Mm -hmm. You are not alone. Don't think you're the only one that is suffering in the world there's so many people and you know we can make a better tomorrow we can we can it's just we need to work for it we need to put it there like you know what i mean we have to decide that it's possible that that, that and that's why i keep saying rethink impossible <laughs> because you need to you need to start rethinking impossible and and just this message goes for everybody that's just really going through something if you are hearing me through youtube or one of our um our streaming platforms uh -huh. how amazing is that i know already on the third episode we're already in two platforms hi our heart radio hi, hi spotify, spotify. <laughs> we'll see the rest of y'all soon stay tuned um you know i don't know y'all and i might not know your stories mm -hmm. But I am here. I am here to share them with you when you're ready. I am here if you need a shoulder, uh, even if it's virtually. Um, I want to become a content creator that is not going to forget about his followers. That's fair. I want to be there for everybody. That's and fair. I know I can't be everywhere, but, you know, I will try my best. And I'm going to add an additional layer to that. Um, with, God, with, this cake is big. Look, it's a huge cake. Oh my gosh. All we need to flavors, add some fudge in the middle. All the flavors you can get. Strawberries. Some, yes, all of that. Fondant, all so, of it. So please, please add, add, add the icing that to the cake. That additional layer, y'all. And it goes back to, to the, the nugget that Jeffrey dropped earlier. We can be there for you unconditionally. However... The biggest thing is that you we you need to get to a point, and I'm gonna say we because we as an individual, like mm -hmm. Jeffrey, myself, you, um, we need to get to a point where you are investing in yourself. You're pouring into yourself the way you expect others to pour into you, because you are only as ready to receive information as you allow yourself to be. Okay, yes. so. It's kind of like you can't pour from an empty cup. Even with you being mm -hmm. being the confidant and the the rock 
for everyone, you mm-hmm. still have to to honor your your own existence and make sure that that you are good. And, and that's there, for you. And that's, there for is, me, that's for you. And there is support all around you. There is, and you you may have to find it. You may have to do a little digging. You may have to build a wall, a fence. Uh, you know, oh, put up an electric fence. Wall, no. You may you may have to. I'm but just kidding. The, the 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 you didn't catch that. I heard there. it. You did. I heard it. I heard it. But you, you kind of get to a point where Floyd Mayweather said, protect yourself at all times. And we get so caught up so many times trying to feel what other people feel that we forget to feel for ourselves. Or impress other people. And we forget to impress ourselves. Do you do you like who you see in the mirror? If do you not, like what you're doing? Do you like what you're doing? What are your not, goals and dreams? How can you confront that? How can you grab so that by the So if you're hearing this part of the by podcast... The bulls, by the horns. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you're hearing this part of the podcast, go ahead and comment... What are your goals and dreams? Yes. What is it that you want to do? And if I were you, say it over, over, and over again to yes. yourself. I want to become this. I want to become this. I want to become this. And slowly, it's going to happen. You just have to be faithful. You have to want it. That's one of the main things is want it. Mm-hmm. And and it's going to happen. And you That's- have to know it's possible. One thing I was just telling Jeffrey... And um, one thing that I tell my son, and I, I have to put this on on record because I, I want to share it with the world. Um, we're we're here for you. Uh, is you are awesome. You are amazing. You are great. Y'all need to like and cut. You can the do cl- anything. Yeah. What y'all need to do is grab the podcast, clip cut that little part, <laughs> and, pe- and put her on repeat loop loop loopy. How do you say the loop? Repeat. There. You are awesome. You are great. Look. But but I, it comes better from her voice. Here, like, I, let's let's do a ten second thing. Here we go. Go. You are awesome. You are amazing. You are great, and you can do anything. Put that on repeat, y'all. Yeah. You you got it. You you have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, how do you expect someone else to do so? Yeah. I am all about you transmutation. You are the one that va- you are the one that puts value in yourself. That part. Don't let nobody else do that it. That part. Because someone else is not going to value you as much as you would yourself. Combating depression one grade at a time. Yes. <laughs> and I want to just say thank you, Exotic Boulevard, for this great snack. Even though, you know, I still haven't finished it. I'm going to eat it after the podcast. Uh, but don't forget to rethink Impossible. Like and share and subscribe. Yes. Please be part of our community. Share us out there. You know, all the reasons that we're trying to grow is to help the community and help so many people, um, you know, and that's just the main goal. Just spread hope and spread laughter. Yes. Even though that today was more of a, you know. I think it was still light. It was a light topic. It was a topic that needed to be spoken because this is our foundation when we fly up and make you laugh. That part. You know, because there's so many things that we want to do with this podcast. So many great people that I'm going to invite. Mm -hmm. And the growth is going to be crazy. And I mean, it's going to be great. I hope to have this whole wall filled with stuff. Oh my gosh. Y'all put your seatbelts on because it's going to be amazing. So if you heard the podcast all the way through, I thank you very much for taking maybe your 30 minute time out of your day. We appreciate you. And comment below, you know. Uh, suggest any subjects that you on uh, subjects any topics that you want us to talk about. Uh, but again, if those that need help, you know, there's help around you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can ask someone. You know, uh, resources. There has to be. There's something for everyone. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced there is. Like it's like the internet. But just know that life. for these thirty minutes, that you know, and as long as I can, we are here for you too. Okay, so you take care. You rethink impossible, and don't forget to spread laughter because laughter is an important medicine for everybody throughout their day. I love it. Okay. I love it. Peace, love, and light. Great. There you go. Yay! We did it. Third episode done, and it was a little more than I thought, but it's fine. I thought it was. I thought it went really well. It went better. I wasn't even.